Two years ago, when writer Tracy Williams found these rubber tablets washed ashore near her home in the UK. We begin tonight with a mystery unfolding on a BC beach. A human foot has once again been discovered. What mysteries lie beneath the waves? Ever wondered what treasures the sea holds? Join us as we delve into the 15 most intriguing and bizarre items ever washed ashore, from ancient relics to modern-day enigmas, revealing the hidden secrets of the ocean's depths. Number 1. Ancient Walrus Skull In 2011, serendipity smiled upon Forrest Shepard, a 13-year-old explorer wandering the shores near Santa Cruz, California. During a leisurely stroll, he stumbled upon an extraordinary find, a complete skull of a previously unknown walrus species, concealed within a colossal boulder dating back five million years. Intrigued by fossils and archaeology from a young age, Forrest grasped the significance of his discovery immediately. Despite weighing approximately 70 pounds, including the encasing rock, the fossilized skull remained remarkably well-preserved. With the assistance of a steadfast friend, Forrest managed to transport the hefty specimen back to his family's vehicle. Years later, meticulous analysis revealed the true magnitude of his find. The fossil represented a new species of walrus. In a gesture of acknowledgement for Forrest's invaluable contribution to paleontology, scientists bestowed upon the ancient walrus species the name Venius Shepherd I, paying homage to the fortuitous young man who unearthed a significant relic of prehistoric life. Number 2. Mysterious Blue Creature Along the sandy shores of Australian beaches, beachgoers were enthralled by the presence of a mysterious blue creature that captivated everyone's gaze. These fantastical beings, resembling something plucked from the pages of a mythical tome, were identified as blue bottles, a species of jellyfish. While their vibrant azure hue is undeniably enchanting, their appearance brings more than just aesthetic appeal to the shoreline. Blue bottles are notorious for their venomous tentacles, which can deliver painful stings upon contact. The sting inflicted by these jellyfish-like creatures results in sharp pain and discomfort, lasting for minutes or even hours, leaving a lasting impression on those unfortunate enough to encounter them. Despite their diminutive size, the impact they have on humans is significant, transforming a leisurely day at the beach into an unpleasant ordeal for those who inadvertently come into contact with them. Driven towards the shore by prevailing winds and ocean currents, blue bottles become more prevalent on certain beaches during specific times of the year. Their presence serves as a poignant reminder of the diverse and sometimes perilous marine life inhabiting the ocean depths. This underscores the importance for beachgoers to exercise caution and remain vigilant of their surroundings when enjoying the natural beauty of the coastline. While these ethereal creatures may seem alluring from a distance, their sting serves as a stark reminder of the untamed forces that dwell beneath the waves. Number 3. A Sea Dragon In the year 2021, Amidst the routine draining and maintenance efforts of a lagoon nestled within the Rutland Water Nature Reserve, Joe Davis, a leader within the conservation team, stumbled upon an extraordinary find. Deep within the Earth's embrace lay the fossilized remnants of an ichthyosaur, affectionately dubbed as a sea dragon. Beyond its rarity, this fossil emerged as a monumental discovery, marking the largest and most intact ichthyosaur skeleton ever unearthed in Britain. Dating back over 180 million years and stretching over 32 feet in length, this fossil stands as a relic of a bygone era, showcasing the magnificence of ancient marine life. Within its well-preserved frame lies a window to a distant past, offering insights into the evolution and ecology of these prehistoric giants. Ichthyosaurs, Denizens of the Jurassic Oceans coexisted with dinosaurs, reigning as the apex predators of their aquatic realm. With origins tracing back 250 million years, these formidable creatures, with lengths reaching up to 25 meters, were adorned with rows of razor-sharp teeth, embodying the epitome of marine prowess. The Rutland discovery, believed to be a Temnodontosaurus trigod, 
underwent meticulous excavation by a consortium of seasoned experts and enthusiastic amateur paleontologists. Their laborious efforts encompassed a delicate choreography of uncovering, documenting, and preserving the specimen, ensuring its scientific legacy endures. Today, researchers endeavor to unravel the mysteries surrounding these ancient sea monsters, piecing together the puzzle of their existence and unraveling the secrets of the oceans they once ruled. Number 4. Mysterious Rubber Blocks The enigmatic Chipad mystery has long captivated the imaginations of those residing in northern Europe, an enduring puzzle that has left beachcombers and scientists alike scratching their heads in bewilderment. This peculiar phenomenon, spanning across numerous years, has stirred curiosity and speculation, weaving a tale of intrigue from the shores of the United Kingdom to the expanses of France and beyond. The discovery of these mysterious slabs, each instance an event shrouded in wonder, has fueled a quest for answers. Yet, the origins of these enigmatic artifacts remain elusive, sparking wild theories ranging from ancient curses to clandestine messages from extraterrestrial beings. However, the truth behind the Chipad mystery proved to be far more prosaic than the fantastical speculations that once swirled around it. The moniker Chipad finds its roots in a rubber plantation nestled in the verdant landscapes of West Java, Indonesia. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, this plantation churned out blocks crafted from gutta percha, a rubber-like substance prized for its versatility in applications ranging from golf balls to telegraph cables. In the local context of Indonesia, these blocks held mundane significance. Yet, the perplexing twist in this tale lies in the inexplicable journey undertaken by these seemingly ordinary blocks, traversing vast distances to wash ashore on the distant coasts of Europe. Numerous theories have emerged in attempts to unravel the mystery. Number 5. Garfield Phones For all the Garfield aficionados out there, this lasagna-loving feline has etched itself into the hearts of many. Across the beaches of Brittany, France, a peculiar discovery has delighted locals for over three decades, Garfield novelty phones. These finds, featuring coiled cords, receivers, and the iconic feline head with Garfield's trademark smirk, have puzzled beach cleaners and environmentalists alike. The origin of these phone parts remained shrouded in mystery, raising concerns among environmentalists about potential marine pollution. Fortunately, the enigma was unraveled by a local farmer named René Morvin. He recounted stumbling upon a metal shipping container filled with these Garfield phones in a sea cave after a storm in the mid-1980s. As the tides ebbed, the container gradually disgorged its contents over the years. While Morvin's revelation solved the mystery, it didn't alleviate the environmental impact caused by the release of these plastic products into the ocean. Despite the discovery of their source, the legacy of the Garfield phones continues to linger in the seas. Number 6. Football Fish Encountering the Pacific football fish, commonly known as an anglerfish, washed ashore is indeed a sight to behold. Discovered by beachgoers in California, these remains evoke a sense of awe and surprise due to their monstrous appearance. Despite its alien-like features, the football fish is a denizen of the ocean's depths, typically inhabiting the lightless abyss around 3,000 feet deep. Seeing them in shallow waters, let alone on the beach, is highly unusual. Characterized by a jet-black body adorned with rough spikes, tiny eyes, and a cavernous mouth filled with needle-like teeth, the Pacific football fish is a creature of otherworldly appearance. Its most striking feature is the bioluminescent lure protruding from its head, resembling a fishing rod with a glowing bulb at the tip, hence earning its name as an anglerfish. What sets the Pacific football fish apart isn't just its appearance but also its peculiar mating behavior. Only the female possesses the bioluminescent appendage and can grow up to 24 inches, while the males are significantly smaller, reaching a mere one inch. 
This size discrepancy arises because males are essentially parasites, latching onto females and eventually fusing with them, leaving behind only their reproductive organs to facilitate mating. Remarkably, a single female angler fish can carry several males on her body. While this mating strategy may seem bizarre, it serves a practical purpose in the deep sea environment where finding a mate is exceedingly challenging. Each football fish washed ashore presents a unique opportunity for scientists to study these elusive creatures, whose natural habitat remains largely inaccessible. Nonetheless, the mystery of why multiple specimens ended up on shore remains unresolved, adding to the intrigue surrounding these enigmatic deep-sea dwellers. Number 7. Neanderthal Footprints Approximately 100,000 years ago, a band of Neanderthals, including lively children, roamed the southern coast of what is now Spain. Much like modern-day children frolicking in the sand, these young Neanderthals meandered and leaped along the shoreline, imprinting the earth beneath them with their footprints. Unbeknownst to them, these footprints would one day serve as silent storytellers of their ancient journey. Fast forward to 2021, and the discovery of these footprints at Melas Canas in Danana National Park ignited a wave of scientific curiosity. Researchers from the University of Hela meticulously studied these imprints, unearthing insights into the lives of our Neanderthal predecessors. Their analysis revealed a diverse ensemble of footprints, hinting at a mixture of children, adolescents, and adults with a notable prevalence of youthful Neanderthals. The researchers discerned this demographic composition through careful examination of the footprint's size and depth. Notably, amidst the 87 Neanderthal footprints discovered, clusters of smaller prints stood out, arranged in a seemingly haphazard manner. These clusters hinted at areas where the youngest individuals of the group engaged in playful activities or lingered along the shore. Of particular interest were the tiniest footprints, measuring a mere 5.5 inches in length, likely belonging to a six-year-old Neanderthal child. These diminutive impressions not only offer insights into the daily lives of Neanderthals, but also hold the distinction of being the oldest Neanderthal hominid tracks discovered in Europe, underscoring their significance in unraveling the mysteries of our shared human past. Number 8. Giant Plastic Pipes in an unforeseen maritime incident in 2017, the tranquil shores of the English coastline bore witness to an unusual sight. Colossal plastic pipes strewn across the sandy beaches of Norfolk. These were no ordinary pipes. They ranged from an impressive 8 feet to an astonishing 2,500 feet in length. The origins of these behemoth pipes were swiftly unveiled tracing back to a construction project that involved towing them from Norway to Algeria. However, fate intervened in the form of a maritime mishap that echoed the plot lines of seafaring tales. A container ship, in an unexpected turn of events, collided with the convoy of pipes, setting them adrift on an unintended voyage to the English coast. These oversized tubes found their resting places at various locales, including Echo on Sea, Sea Palling, and Winterton. Despite their imposing size, authorities reassured the public that the pipes posed no threat of pollution or danger. Instead, they became an unexpected attraction, drawing the curious gazes of both adults and children alike. For the latter, these mammoth pipes transformed into irresistible playgrounds, sparking joy and wonder along the coastline. Efforts to salvage the stranded pipes involved consolidating them at a single offshore location before towing them back to Norway. Fortunately, the operation concluded without incident, bringing an end to this unexpected maritime escapade. Number 9 Lady Liz By the esteemed shipbuilder Robert Thompson Jr., the Lady Elizabeth emerged as a formidable three-masted iron-hulled bark weighing 1,155 tons. Initially setting sail as a diligent cargo vessel, traversing the globe and confronting the tempestuous seas, 
The Lady Elizabeth's narrative took a profound twist in 1912 during a journey from Vancouver to Mozambique laden with lumber. Encountering ferocious weather near Cape Horn, this voyage turned tragic as a fierce storm exacted a devastating toll. Four crew members perished, and significant losses ensued, including the ship's boats and part of her deck cargo. Despite sustaining severe damage, such as a six-foot breach in the hull and keel, along with a one-foot hole, the resilient vessel managed to reach the Stanley Falland Islands seeking essential repairs. However, upon inspection in Stanley, the Lady Elizabeth faced condemnation as unseaworthy. Consequently, she underwent a transformation into a coal hulk, stationed there until 1936. Fate dealt another blow when a storm severed her mooring lines, sending her adrift until she found her final resting place in Whalebone Cave within Stanley Harbor. Today, remnants of the Lady Elizabeth endure, partially beached, enduring the relentless assault of pounding waves and high tides. Remarkably, several of the ship's accessories, including the main crank for the anchor and parts of the crow's nest, persistently cling to her weathered frame. However, the passage of time and the unyielding elements have taken their toll, inflicting severe rust and deterioration upon the Lady Liz. The keel has begun to decay, leaving behind substantial cavities, while the interior faces recurrent flooding during high tide. Despite endeavors to salvage and repurpose her as a floating museum, the dream never materialized, thwarted by financial constraints. Thus, the Lady Elizabeth remains an evocative yet haunting symbol, an enduring testament to the trials and tribulations faced by seafarers of yore. Number 10. 200-foot-long tanker. In May 2016, beachgoers along the West African coast stumbled upon a perplexing sight. The Taya One, a colossal oil tanker, stranded ashore near Robertsport, Liberia. Unlike typical maritime incidents, this 206-foot-long vessel was found deserted, devoid of any crew members. Departing from Panama and last sighted far from pirate-infested waters, the circumstances of its abandonment remain shrouded in mystery. The Liberian Maritime Authority speculated on potential causes, ranging from financial woes leading to crew abandonment to possible foul play, indicated by evidence of a fire in the captain's quarters. Sadly, before authorities could thoroughly investigate, local looting and vandalism marred the scene, obscuring potential clues and leaving the enigma of the Taya One's fate unresolved. Number 11. Gone Bananas. In 2007, inhabitants of two Dutch North Sea islands were treated to an extraordinary sight along their local shores, an abundance of unripe bananas scattered across the sands. It was a surprising and unusual occurrence, as bananas are not typically associated with oceanic landscapes. The cause of this peculiar phenomenon was traced back to a cargo ship that had capsized during a fierce storm, releasing its cargo of bananas into the sea. The beach became a spectacle as residents flocked to collect the unexpected bounty. Despite my personal indifference towards the fruit, I enthusiastically joined in the communal excitement of gathering the precious bananas, adding a touch of unexpected delight to the coastal scene. Number 12. Giant Driftwood. Witnessing the sheer might of nature in the sea, Residents of Washington were astounded when a colossal piece of driftwood washed ashore. This wasn't your ordinary driftwood, it was immense, serving as a testament to the unstoppable force of the ocean's currents. Driftwood of this magnitude originates from trees that either topple into rivers or directly into the ocean, where they are carried away by the relentless water currents. Over time, the relentless push and pull of waves and tides guide these behemoth pieces onto the coastline. The sheer enormity of this particular driftwood captured the attention of all who beheld it, emphasizing the ocean's capability to transport massive objects across vast distances. It prompts contemplation on the natural processes at play, illustrating the journey these wooden giants undertake from lush forests to the expansive ocean, ultimately finding their resting place upon our sandy shores. Encountering such a substantial piece of driftwood is a rarity, prompting reflection on the intricate cycles of the earth, wherein trees seamlessly transition into integral components of the oceanic landscape. 
Number 13. Muriwai Monster On Muriwai Beach in New Zealand, an enigmatic object washed ashore, igniting a flurry of speculation among onlookers. Initially resembling a creature from extraterrestrial realms, closer examination revealed it to be a piece of driftwood adorned with gooseneck barnacles. These peculiar sea creatures, with their elongated necks and shell-covered heads, have the remarkable ability to transform mundane wood into an entity that appears alive. Gooseneck barnacles are marine organisms that affix themselves to solid surfaces such as drifting wood found in the ocean. Over time, their colonization can completely obscure the original object, bestowing upon it an eerie, unearthly semblance. The discovery of the Muriwai monster prompted wild conjecture among observers, speculating whether it was an alien entity, an undiscovered sea beast, or something entirely different. This incident serves as a testament to the ocean's power to imbue ordinary objects with an air of mystery and intrigue. The fusion of natural driftwood with the encrustation of barnacles created a captivating spectacle that captured the imagination of all who beheld it. It underscores the wondrous and transformative forces at play within the marine environment, where the seemingly mundane can be transfigured into something beguiling and extraordinary. Number 14. Severed Feet Along the shores of Canada and the United States, a haunting discovery has unfolded over time. More than 14 human feet, encased in shoes, have washed ashore. This eerie phenomenon has left both the public and authorities bewildered. Each foot, found individually, has spurred a plethora of theories regarding their origins, spanning from maritime accidents to darker scenarios. Investigations into these occurrences have revealed the tragic truth that these feet belong to individuals who met untimely ends, their remains ultimately carried by the sea to the coastline. The presence of shoes is attributed to modern footwear's buoyant materials, allowing the foot to remain afloat and be transported significant distances by ocean currents. While disconcerting, this phenomenon underscores the ocean's formidable and enigmatic nature. Despite its unsettling nature, the discovery of these severed feet has led to the resolution of some cases, offering closure to families who had grappled with the uncertainty surrounding the fate of their loved ones. In shedding light on these mysteries, albeit unsettling, these incidents serve as a poignant reminder of the ocean's ability to both conceal and reveal the secrets of the human experience. Number 15. Truck-Sized Basking Shark Along the coastline of Bremen, local fishermen were astonished to stumble upon a remarkable sight. A basking shark, stretching an impressive 26 feet in length, had washed ashore. Despite its formidable dimensions akin to that of a truck, this species poses no threat to humans. Renowned for their placid demeanor, basking sharks primarily subsist on plankton, which they filter from the water using their expansive mouths while in motion. The discovery of this particular basking shark captivated the attention of both the community and scientific community owing to its substantial size. Basking sharks rank as the second largest fish species globally, trailing closely behind the whale shark. Despite their imposing stature and appearance, they exhibit a peaceful disposition and do not display aggression towards humans. The presence of such a colossal basking shark on the beach presented a rare opportunity for observation and research, offering invaluable insights into the behavior and ecology of these magnificent marine creatures. As scientists and locals alike marveled at this extraordinary find, it underscored the importance of conserving and understanding the diverse marine life that inhabits our oceans. Dive into the depths of ocean mysteries with us. From ancient relics to bizarre discoveries, the sea holds countless secrets waiting to be uncovered. Subscribe now for more fascinating content on the wonders lurking beneath the waves. Don't miss out on our next adventure.